Michelle Obama, she is way more popular than her husband. Her approval ratings are sky high. But Mrs. Obama proves she's not impervious to hecklers. The first lady was reading prepared remarks last night when she was interrupted by a protester who says the LGBT community is not protected from workplace discrimination. Uh, uh, here's the heckling. Listen. We have an obligation to stand up for those kids. And I don't care what you believe in. We don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One of the things I, one of the things that I don't do well, is this. One of the things. One of the things now, now. According to uh, reporters who were there, people who were there, Mrs. Obama then approached the heckler and said. Listen to me, or you can take the mic, but I'm leaving. You all decide. You have one choice. Now, the heckler was from a gay rights group, as I said, and she was eventually escorted out of the building. Mrs. Obama did stay. Let's bring in CNN analyst LZ Granderson. He's joining us on the phone from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Good morning, LZ. Good morning, Carol. Oddly enough, you're actually writing a column on this very topic, right? Yes, actually, I am. I, was, I started writing this piece uh, yesterday uh, in regards to the House Democrats not voting um, on the issue of marriage equality in, in Illinois. And what happened to the First Lady last night kind of ties into what I see as a complicated relationship that Democrats have with the LGBT community. So this, this, this event, and, and Michelle Obama was talking about children, right? <laughs> educating and eating right, right and all of that. Was that the proper forum for someone to go in and complain about this particular issue? Is it helpful? Well, you know, hecklers don't get invitations. <laughs> <laughs> There's never a right time, you know, to heckle. And so, you know, while you would have preferred it to have maybe been at an event that wasn't dealing with children, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that when hecklers have an issue and they feel as if they're not being heard during traditional ways, they will take these opportunities, these other avenues to try to make sure that their voices, and more importantly, that their point is being heard. I don't think it's fair necessarily to heckle the first lady because she's not the one that sets policy. Nonetheless, heckling her has us talking about this issue and the promise that the president made himself back in 2008. Some people might say, though, that um, uh, the gay rights movement has come such a long way. It wants everything all at once, and it just doesn't happen that way. Well, you know, if you look at the pattern that have happened under uh, the Obama administration, what tends to happen is you have protesting, you have heckling, and then you have movement. Unfortunately, it hasn't really been a, there hasn't been a lot of examples of it being the other way around.